Cat's out the bag. Woo! Finally, I get to ask you this, and you have Nate's to... fighting Hosma. <laughs> Cat's out the bag. You got any news to tell us, man? Um. Well, I've known I'm fighting July second for a while. Yeah, you know, probably about three months out. So I guess four or five weeks ago, I didn't necessarily know it was Pedro. I was kind of hoping it was, kind of thinking it was. Um, so I've been training, dude. I'm like not not in camp training because I don't want to overtrain. But I've been I've been focused. I've been knowing. I've been dialed for you know July second's been on my mind for a while. And uh, prelim Pedro's moving up, staying up. They got an alarm clock set. They're gonna wake him up and uh, bump him up to the main card, I believe. They all imagine. They, they put us on the free limbs. Oh, oh God. No. That's <laughs> fitting. And they say I lap a loss or something on the record. Uh, yeah, that shit gets <sighs> annoying, dude. For prelim, prelim Pedro, prelim huh? Pedro. Is there anything? Uh, he's one in four in his last five fights yep. against, honestly, some... All champions or former champions. Yeah. Do you think this win is going to be like, people are going to be like, okay. Or do you think people are going to be like, well, he's one in four. Even uh, though, even though well, like one in four. his last four... He Irvine. submitted Rob Font. And Cheeto just went the distance with him. That's all I'm saying. No, he, I mean, his last loss to Dominic Cruz, I didn't watch it. I was, uh, I'm was i on the main card. <laughs> and they fought before me on the prelim, so I didn't get to watch it because uh, I was warming up for my fight. And uh, so I didn't get to see that fight. I, I know Dominic obviously won, and um, I, didn't re- I, didn't, I didn't see it. Did you watch it? Do you remember much of it? I mean, I was there. I did watch it live. I remember... Uh, I almost called him Freelim. <laughs> Freelim. I remember Pedro rocked Dom. Dropped him at Dropped one point, him. didn't he? Couldn't finish him. And then, I mean, Damn, I haven't I rewatched. Yeah, I haven't rewatched it. But And then, I mean, so that's like a losing to Dominic Cruz right now is Dominic's, you know, people may say slow down, whatever. He still looks good to me. Every time I've, I've seen him fight, like when he fought Casey Kenny, I'm like, he looked good. He looks like he's still elite, still top yeah. of the game. So losing to pay, Dominic isn't like a. Losing to a former champion who's who's at the top of the game, and then before that, who did he lose to? Uh, uh, Jose Aldo, was or it? Uh, Frankie Edgar? I can't remember. Let me look it up right now. And Frankie Edgar just beat uh, Cheeto basically. Yeah, he lost one much. second of that fight, unfortunately, uh, for him. But yeah, so I mean, he lost to Frankie Edgar. He lost to Dominic Cruz, then Jose Aldo, or Jose, Jose Aldo was before I mean, that. Come then on. beat Jimmy Rivera, lost Dude. to Frankie, lost to Aljo, beat Cody Damn. Garbrandt. Well, speaking of, we can talk about that later. Oh, um, yeah, the dude's a stud, and, uh, you know, this is the biggest challenge without a doubt. Like, some people say, who knows, if Paiva was a bit, like, tougher, blah, blah, blah. This is a bit, this is a tough fight. This, Pedro's no joke. Never been finished, Never been think. finished. You know, he's very, very experienced. Um, with that being said, he's 5'6". <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it's like, I'd knock people out. That at five six. No, it's gonna be a tough fight. But he's gonna come out, try to kick my legs, put me up against fence, take me down. You think um, that's his game plan going into it? It's gotta. Well, I mean, that's what I would assume. You know, yeah. the hundred percent game plan is I'm gonna go chop his legs, kick his legs. Right. Um. That's when I'm gonna pop, snipe him, baby. I'm a fucking sniper, dude. He's yep. never been finished. You think he wants to go in there and test his not test his chin necessarily, but think he can kind of throw some punches and hang with you on the feet. Since he's been he's a brawler, hundred percent. Like if he if I chose to, if I was like, hey, yeah, let's stand and bang, he'd like that. That's what he you know he, he likes that. But I don't. I've never done that. You know, I don't do that. I fucking dance and snipe, baby. Dance and snipe. That's what I do. That's why, you know, I fucking. That's how I've gotten to where I've gotten to be. To be to gotten to be. I do without what I do. Snipe and shoot. Oh. You know what I mean? Sniper gang. Snatch a chain. Sneak and geek. You know. Yeah. I'm excited. That's not even the most exciting fight on that card. Well. Oh. What's up, Sugar Squad? If you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click down below to check out the full episode and subscribe to be a part of the journey.